Hi guys, welcome back to the third part of the series Data Analysis using the free online version of Excel. If you want to watch the previous two parts, I will leave the link in the description so you can take a look and follow up from there. And you can also uh, follow along with me in this video. I will leave the data set which I have used. I will leave the link to that in the description so you can download the data set and follow along with me. So let's take a look, let's take a recap what we did in the previous parts of the series. We did some data analysis using Excel. We created a dashboard with a couple of charts and saw some trends and box plots. In the next video, we, saw, we, we dealt a bit deeper into box plots and tried to understand how to interpret a, plot, a box plot and how to understand the distributions using the same. In this video, we'll take a look at an example using the VLOOKUP on how to perform some categorization of your data using the VLOOKUP. So you can, if you want to do some action or categorization of your data based on analysis, you can do that using VLOOKUP. So let's say we have seen the employ, uh, 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 the employees with us. We have their hire date as well as their, uh, their exit date, right? So say we want to reward our employees who have stayed with us for a long period of time, because as we can see that we have grown well from the trends we have seen, we have grown well and we expect for the growth. So we want to reward the long-standing employees. So how do we do that? Let's take a look with the VLOOKUP. So first I'm going to ch check if the employee is currently with us or he, or, he has, or he or she has left us. So let's say I create a column cause, cause, called as is hired, sorry, is employed, right? And I want to find if the employee is currently employed with us or not. So I will use the formula is blank. Okay, and I will check the exit date. If the exit date is blank, that means he is still employed. If, if it's not, that means he has already left the organization. So I get this for for all the cells below. Okay, so let's take a look at the next cell. Now I want to know what is the tenure of the employee with us because I want to reward them based on their tenure, right? See if they completed five years, 10 years, 15 years. Accordingly, I wanted to you know, reward them for their for their long-standing employment with the organization. So I will create a column called tenure. Let's look how we calculate the tenure. I will use the if function. Okay, so here what I will do is that if this is true if he is, is employed, then how do I calculate the tenure? That means I need to take the today's date. So I'll use the today functions. I'll use the today function, today function, and I will subtract from the, the today's function the higher date. Right? Okay. I close the bracket. I put this in bracket because Excel f follows the typical Bortmas rule. So to have the correct mathematical operations, you need to have the brackets. So uh, divide by 365 to get the days. Then if the employee has left us, if it's false, then I will subtract the uh, exit date. I, I use the exit date. And from that, I will subtract the higher date, right? So again, I'll put this bracket here and here. And I divide this by 365. So I get the days. Let's close the bracket. Okay. Now I don't want the decimal point, so let just let me just round this up. So I use another function round, round, okay, and round it up, and uh, I don't need any decimal points. So I'm going to say zero as my precision, and I hit enter. Okay, so it gives me a nice tenure years for the employees okay now based on this i want to reward the price say for the employees first let's take a look at what is the maximum tenure say i'll do max of this control shift down select the data okay so the maximum tenure let me take a look okay uh, it's showing 32 i did it in the column so it is done for all the say it is showing 32 years so i'll just delete this Okay, now say I know the maximum tenure is around 32. So say I want uh, to reward the employees in in blocks of five, right? For any employee who has completed up to five years, what I want to give, up to 10 years, what I want to give. So I made a small table for this, okay? So I can see uh, I have uh, created you know, tenure and reward. So how to interpret this table? That means if the employee has got from zero to four years of tenure, I'll be giving him nothing. If he's got from five years to nine years, I'll be giving him $5,000. From 10 to 14, 
I'll be giving him $10,000 and so on and so forth up to 30 years, right? Anything above 30 will be, will be getting $30,000. So how do I do this? You can do this nicely using the VLOOKUP function. We can do this with the XLOOKUP also, but I want to explain the VLOOKUP here so that we get a hang of it. And the XLOOKUP is the most sophisticated uh, in a function. If you want me to make a video on that, do let me know. I'll show all the different ways in which you can use the XLOOKUP as well. So let's take a look at that. Um, let's say reward, I get a column called reward. Okay, I'll enter here. And let me do the uh, use the VLOOKUP. Okay, hit equal to VLOOKUP. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to select the lookup value. So that is the tenure comma. I need to select the table array from where I want to look up. So I go to master data I select this entire array. Save the entire array. Okay. And the last is column index. Which column I want to return? So I want to return this that is the reward amount. So I will say two and close. And you can see it is now populated all the reward. Just let me quickly, let me quickly uh, make this into the dollar currency amount. So you can now see it has quickly populated all the rewards. Okay, you can see if I, by having six years has got five thousand uh, dollars. Employee having twenty six years has got twenty five. Anyone who has got four years, I mean less than five years, has got zero. So this is how you can quickly take an action and use the V lookup to categorize your data into different you know, segments. I have categorized it into the different reward sections in which I want to uh, reward my employees, right? So in this uh, data set. So I thought I'll take this example to explain the V lookup. If you like this video, please do like and leave a comment below on any other videos you want me to make. Please follow along the series and subscribe to my channel. I'll be making many videos on different uh, functions and formulas using the free online version of Excel. Again, the main aim of this uh, video is to be able to access and use the Excel functionality online and everyone should be able to learn even if he has a paid or free version of Excel and I want to promote everyone easily able to learn Excel. Thank you.